What's going on, everybody? So, went to Louisville Card Show today. I do have pickups. Uh, towards the end of the show, I want to get more footage. SD card error. So, I think that old SD card, even though I've been formatting it correctly like they tell me, garbage. So, uh, no footage from the show. I didn't feel like I pulled out the other SD card and read going back around because it was already getting late. But, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of pickups I did today. I didn't spend anything crazy like normal. Uh, but I will tell you, a lot of different people looking for different things up there. Jalen Brunson, because he's been performing now with the Mavs, is one big one everybody's been wanting. Uh, that's pretty much it besides Maxis and all the other stuff. So, we did a couple different deals up there. Um, I separate these by what I'm keeping, what's going into either whatnot or to the store eventually. So... This here, I'm not selling it. Just cool. I found this star set. I go real slow. Here we go. It even has the old sticker on the back from when it came. I always like picking these things up here. It's all Carl Malone, though. So, something different. I mean, like I said, you don't really see this stuff out too often. And when you can get it for a couple dollars, why not? And you can see, set. this is the old sticker stuff, what the set number is and all that stuff. So really cool to find something like that. All right, so a lot of this stuff might go on whatnot today or next week. Um, eventually, we're going to start getting stuff back in the store. I'm going to move the camera down some and make it not crooked looking. All right. Justin Herbert playbook next up. I got a lot of this stuff very cheap um, to where, you know, it's going to be good stuff to put out and, you know, where people are still going to get good prices on it from me. One, well, the concourse, one of these concourse, one's premier, maxi blues, uh, whatever you call that, tricolor, some weird flash maxi. That's all going to be one lot. Call it the maxi lot. <clears throat> Evan Mobley arriving now. Should be Rookie of the Year. And this is from Hoops. And this is like the hollow, if I can get the camera to focus here now. All right, now I can go back to where I was at. There we go. But, I mean, cheap stuff that you find out there that, you know, has some value. Kevin, uh, oh, that's Kenyon Martin. Why did I get Kevin Martin? No idea why I picked this. I thought I probably said Kevin, some, or, uh, Kevin Garnett or something. I don't know. No idea why I got it. I might just threw it in there, but jersey piece action there. Jordan, I already have one of these in the 10, plus a little bit of white down there, but for any Jordan collectors that might not have it, NBA All-Star 10 Retro. Pretty cool from 96-97. Tim Duncan, Fleer rookie. A lot of people forget about Duncan. A couple of Kobe cards. I think this one goes for around $10 to $15, roughly. This is out of Fleer, uh, what do they call this stuff? Um, exclusive, exclusive, was it? Just Fleer. I thought it was called exclusive. Members only exclusive, that's what it was. Um, Kobe Bryant again from Edge. Kind of cool. They couldn't wear the stuff on Lakers and stuff. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, upper deck rookie. Herbert rookie. Mayfield, good old Baker. Yes, Sam Darnold, another jersey. Another Sam Darnold jersey. Hertz rookie. This was kind of cool. Uh, Brett Favre from, uh, what do they call these things? Star Flicks from back in the day. Shaq, and that's the Topps Gold. Mike Evans, Strata rookie. Anthony Simons, Revolution uh, rookie. Another Shaq. A couple other Jordans. Uh, LeBron Clear Vision. I think that's from like 2015. Yep, 15, 16. Some Lamellos. I mean, this stuff's dirt cheap out there. Trey Young, the rookies. Donovan Mitchell Essentials rookie. Those are going up. Um, Trey Young. This is Chronicles Hollow. So cool stuff for like on uh, whatnot and stuff to move out there. Stuff I'm probably looking to keep mostly are grade. There we go. Jordan. Showstoppers. See if it looks like a 10 later. 
If not, we'll just put it up because I have uh, nine already in that. The uh, good old Emotion. I love this card from Jordan with the 45 on it. Another Superman looked in really, really good shape uh, by going through it. Star Quest. I don't know if you guys remember these, but LeBron. Jordan. Uh, was this the Bounce Pass? Kobe Finest. Uh, this has the coating. Two Big Bens. Picked these up for a total of five bucks. I mean, it's Sage. It is what it is. Got this off a buddy of mine. I always try to pick something up from him. He's the one I uh, tend to upcoming card you guys will see. The Trey Young. So I picked up an eight in this time. Choice. No. Is this called Choice? No, this was Disco back then. <clears throat> now I put these two together. This was like the stuff that I wanted to add this to it. Misha Tate's USC Prism. Auto. I know she is. I know she's got some no-no photos out there, too. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Um, and this is the highlight. Been trying to pick up Ovechkin on the side. You guys know that. This is from Panini Leaf Limited or Limited, whatever they wanted to call it. Uh, 99. Really cool piece. Very little whiting on this card, amazingly. This could fetch a PSA 9, to be honest. Very, very close. So it might be something I said in a PSA one day, but really, really happy with Ovechkin. Uh, Misha Tate, just, I know USC, he had a Ken Shamrock auto, but it was dinged in the corner pretty good. Uh, Misha Tate, just because I know the name. I don't really watch a lot of USC, but I do watch enough to where I guess I know some names. But like I said, Aiton will get graded. Ben stuff maybe way down the road. Then I'll look these over the Jordans and Kobe, uh, Kobe, yeah, Kobe and LeBron. So pretty good productive day overall. Like I said, not a whole lot of money spent. Mostly it was all on that Ovechkin. And I had him throw that in to make sense for both of us type deal. Overall, really good show. Like I said, anytime I go through there and spend, oh gosh, I bet you I spent. Two hours going through people's 50% uh, off boxes. I mean, there was a lot of good stuff in there. Um, like the one where I was going through, I had a price in mind. The guy even went lower than 50%. So I was like, cool. You know, it just leaves room for whenever you're going to try to sell it and get rid of it. And then, you know, somebody else will have a chance, hopefully, to make some money on to it, too, down the road. But I am beat, guys. I got to get ready for the old whatnotter tonight. Um, if you got, oh, well, actually, this video will come out tomorrow. So hopefully if you guys stop by, you got some good pickups from whatnot. Other than that, I will catch you guys next video, and I'll make sure the SD card is the new one from now on.